Okay, folks, so we have here a Pride Wrangler scooter. So if you're going to order a Pride Wrangler, I want you to see how it's going to come in. It's going to come in on a pallet like this. The pallet might be longer. This one here, I don't know why they use these short pallets. I don't like it because you can get hit on the back side here. But it can't, this, this Wrangler came in like this uh, in, one, in, one, uh, in one swoop, no damage to it, so we're lucky. The seat is on top of the box, and the basket is wrapped right here on the front of the seat for the front, for the front basket, okay? Now, the Wrangler does not come with the front basket unless you order the front basket. So this one has a basket because the, the, the client who's getting this tomorrow ordered the basket for the front. The basket is extra if you need a basket. But the only thing you need to open this box is a sharp knife or a carpet cutter like I have here. And what you do is you just cut the plastic. Just make sure you don't cut yourself all the way around. Take the seat off the top, the basket. We're gonna put the basket on the ground for now. We're gonna take the seat right here. The seat weighs about 40 pounds, so you're gonna have someone strong. 40 pounds is that box right there. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut the straps. You can also do this with a pair of scissors but I'm gonna show you why it's easier with a knife. All right, so now we've got the box ready to go. So what, what I will do next, what I usually like to do is open up the, the ends here on both ends and then go right down the middle. And now you can see the scooter is in here pretty well wrapped up with foam. This is what it looks like when it's in the box. So what I would do first is remove the foam that's over the, over the tiller. That's the way you drive it. Remove those foams on each side. Those are the first two, the ones in the middle. Remove the back foam. The back foam has the mirror and the charger in it and the owner's manual and the two keys. So just make sure you don't lose. We do get calls back saying, where's my charger? Where? Because people don't pay attention. So this is over here. And we'll put that back there for now. On the front, remove the two front side ones. These are just for protection. One, two. Then you remove the front one. It goes right over the tiller. Then what I've done, I've raised up the tiller. To so raise up the tiller, what I have done, I'm gonna take this little thing off of here. All right, so this is how you adjust your tiller right here with this little lever. So this is how, you can't bring it up unless you squeeze this uh, gray handle down and bring your tiller up. It's a little hard because it's brand new. Then you have one more foam that was under the tiller that will come off at that time. Now you can see what's a bit, what you got left in there. The next thing I'm going to do is, instead of lifting the scooter out of the box, I'm going to cut the box in the back side right here. This is why you need a good knife. If you don't have a good knife, it's going to be a little bit harder. And now, as you can see on the back of the scooter right here, now that I've cut the back open, we have some more protection here, and you have another protection right here, and you have the plastic. And I think those wheels are in that protection, so I'm going to cut the box some more. I'm going to cut it over here this time. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. All 
All right. Now, pretty well, pretty well packed. Okay, so this is where you will need a little bit of help because the wheels are sitting in the foams. Okay, so someone's going to have to lift the scooter. Well, maybe just me. It's actually not that bad. There's the back foam. So the wheels were sitting in here. It might take two people to lift the back. I'm not sure if the front's going to be that easy. But they do have these pretty well set up in there, don't they? So the front, you can see the foam is there. So you definitely will need two people to unwrap it. And I'm going to put it in neutral, I think. There's two levers back here behind this power, behind here. And if I put them down, they're way under here. They have cue ball knobs on them, okay? So now I'm in neutral. So by putting it in neutral, I'm going to be able to roll it back. There we go. So now we have the scooter out of the box. The next thing you would do, of course, is take your plastics off your wheels. Okay. You're going to want to check the batteries. Let me get my keys. We're going to go back to the box here. Remember the box? We had the charger. We had the charger. We had the mirror. And we had the manual with two keys in it. So I'm going to take the keys out from the manual. These are the keys. Now, if I made this scooter, I would send you a keychain, but you get two keys. But I don't make the scooter, so. Um, I should know, right here. So on the side of your scooter, on the right side, there's a piece of tape right here that I'm taking off right now. There's a little piece of tape right here that you will take off. And that's where your ignition is. Turn the key on. So now I got the key turned on, but I have no power. So what does that mean? Does it mean it's broken? No, it doesn't mean it's broken. It just means the batteries are not connected. So now you would go to the battery box. We just realized something. When you take this cover off, it's easier if you take the back cover off first because the front cover goes under the back cover. And to take this little black, co this brown cover off right here, there's two yellow screws under here. You can see it right there. There's one on each side. So if you unscrew them, okay, if you unscrew these screws right here, don't lose them. The back cover sits on Velcro. You can pull it. It might be a little hard, but you can hear it sits on Velcro. There's a Velcro all the way around. By taking the back cover off, it's easier to take this cover off. Okay? So when you put this cover back on, put it on like this. It'll fit right in the holes. Right there. Right there. Then you put your, you will put your screws all the way around. Then you would put this one back over here, right over the top of it, like that. And you would put your little yellow screws under this one. Okay, we've got the batteries. We actually had the batteries in stock. They were outside the door. I didn't realize when they unloaded the, the skid, the batteries were with the scooter, but they were, they sat outside the building right here. So these are the two batteries you get with this scooter. These are 75 amp batteries. So 
you will take them out of the box. There's, there's your screws. These are half inch, so you will need a half inch socket, two of these half inch sockets. Take the batteries out, out of the box. They're pretty heavy, so you're gonna need some help. So take the batteries out, and then you'll take the battery, and there's loops here. You're gonna wanna put it inside the loop. These are just straps to keep the batteries from moving. Okay, and if you notice, you have on this side a red cable that goes to the red bat part of the battery, and back here, it's a little antenna, you have a black cable right here that goes to the back of the battery. Okay, so these two go together. Okay, folks, um, it took me 10 minutes to took the scooter out of the box. And I've been dealing with these straps here, these straps that hold the battery for 30 minutes. So I figured it out. My son and I figured it out. Here's how they work. You need to pay attention, watch the video. These straps are very, very long, okay? You can see, you can see how long they are, okay? So they're double loop, so no straps will go under the battery. So even though they look like they're on the floor here, they're not gonna be under the battery. So you're gonna double loop them, and you're gonna bring the strap like this, and you're gonna put the battery inside like this. The same thing with the other one. The other one's gonna go on top of the battery. There'll be no straps on the floor. See that? So the first strap, you will loop it. So you will go here. You will loop it here. You'll bring it back on top and you'll bring the bottom up like this. Bring the bottom up. Then you can put the battery in there and you can tighten up the strap and the strap with the Velcro right here on the side of the strap. Again, you're gonna go through this. You're gonna go through the loop. So you have your long strap here. You're gonna go through the loop right here. Okay, you're gonna bring the bottom up so there's no strap on the floor, okay? Then you're gonna slide your battery under both of these straps. You're gonna do the same thing with the other straps. So let me see if I can get the battery in there. Pretty complicated stuff. So you get the battery in here. There we go. So now we have the battery in there and we have all the straps. So now, because you've double looped it, okay, so now you can, this is the, the strap, then you tighten it and you put it on the side where the Velcro is. Same thing with the other one. You'll bring the strap here. And you'll put it in the back on the other Velcro. And your battery is all tied up right here, okay? The next thing you'll do is, we have already connected one battery. So you can see the front battery. If you see how I put the batteries, the terminals on the outside. So I'm facing frontward. The red goes to the red. The white here ends with a black. It goes to the black. It's the same thing in the back. You have a cable that ends red. It goes to the red on this side. It's the same thing with here. You have a black. It'll go to the black. When you put your bolts, Put your bolts facing in, not facing out, like this, okay? So you'll put your bolts facing in, like this, okay? And then you'll put your, uh, and you will get a spark when you put the batteries in. You can might as well want to turn the power off right here. Okay? Or turn the key off. There we go. So I have the key off now. And then you put your lug nut, your nuts on here. Now you will need, you will need a half inch and a 916 because the bolt is bigger on one side than the other. So the side of the 916, you will hold it here and you can screw in with the, the half inch right here. And then put your rubber knob on top of your battery. I got it pinched, of course. Here we go. It's 94 degrees today, so it's a little warm to be doing this in here. One thing about living in Florida, it gets hot. 
So put your knob on there. Same thing with the back battery, you'll put it on there. It's all connected, as you can see. On the front, the white one with the red goes to the red terminal. The other white cable in the front goes to the, uh, to the black terminal because it has a black boot on it. It's not hard to see. On this side, you have a, a red cable that comes from under here that goes to the red, and the black goes to the black. They're all connected, okay? Make sure that you put your scooter back in gear once you have it out here. If it's beeping, it's because it's still in neutral. So right now, if I turn the key on, you can see the power is on. You can see the display and it's ready to move forward. You can see it's moving forward, okay? So I have it back in gear. If you still have it in neutral under here, it'll beep. It'll go beep, beep, beep. You need to put it back in gear, turn the power off, turn the power back on. You have a reset button right here on the front. So if you have no power, you can always check, make sure this lever is all the way up, facing that away. It shouldn't be down. If it's down, the power is off, okay? So if you have no power after you've connected the batteries and turn the key on, you may want to check over here. Then you would just put your, well, another thing, if you need the seat to be elevated higher, you need to do it before you put the cover back on, before you put the batteries in. There's a bolt right here where my fingers are at. You can see the bolt on this side and this side right here. You can just raise this post. There's about two holes or three holes. You can raise it a little bit higher if you need your seat a little bit higher. So that's how you would raise the seat up. And then you would put your cover back on. And we'll probably go in this way first and then push it in here. There we go. And then you would put your, um, your four screws back in that you put over here earlier. And you would put all four of these back in. One, two, three, and then screw them all in, all four of them and that would put your cover back on. Okay, so this is the seat for the scooter. So we've got the cover, we've got the batteries installed, we've got the covers back on. I guess we're learning together today. So when you get the seat out, just make sure you do not damage the seat with your knife. Take the box out. You have your headrest here, and you have your seat. The seat is pretty heavy. I'm going to open the seat up a little bit, get the plastic off. Now I'm going to take the seat this way so I can see where I'm going with it. And I'm going to put it right on the pole. It should drop right in. Then it locks. You have a lever here on the side to adjust your seat. This is just a protection for shipping. We'll take the box out of the way. And we've got our headrest here. And we've got the arms probably in this box right here. So make sure that when you unpack your scooter that you don't lose any parts. These are the arms right here. There's one. There's two. Some more garbage. These are probably the posts for the arms. So these posts right here, you have two of them. They will slide right, but right. Actually, you want the knobs to be facing out behind you. So this one goes here. And this knob, if, you, if it's going to be facing the back, so it would have to be on this side. The arms won't go in until you loosen up these knobs back here, okay? So when you loosen up these knobs all the way out, you'll see the arm go in. And you have a pin here. You can put the pin back in. 
You can re-tighten it as tight as you can to, so there's no play. Again, loosen up your knobs right here. Pull the pin out as soon as, it, as soon as it's far enough, you'll see the hole. Put it back in the hole. See, we still have play, but if you turn the knob tight, real tight, you have no more play. Then you will drop your arm right here. Again, unscrew these knobs. Until the arms go in. Now I got it too tight. Let me put this one over here. Tighten them up. And they do flip up. The only thing is, when you put them in, you can't go all the way down. You got to leave half an inch. You got to leave a half an inch right here because the arm won't flip up if you put them too tight. And on this arm here, the reason I'm having a little bit of trouble, I'm against the little plastic lumbar adjustments. I'm going to put the arm down first, and then I'm going to put it back in here. Okay? And then I'm going to tighten it here. And I'm going to tighten it here. And now I see now it won't it won't turn it won't flip because I got it got to leave got to leave about a, about an inch gap right here, and now your arm will flip. So so far so good. All right, so you have a lumbar adjustment here. You have your adjustment on this side for the seat to make it go back or forth. You do have a swivel right here to swivel your seat. And you also have a slider back and forth right here. All right, so I had it, the, uh, the power was off over here. So now the only thing I have to do is turn the key on. And it, you got to give it about four or five seconds when the key turns on. And you should be able to go forward and backward. So this is the... Wrangler scooter out of the box batteries installed seat put back on I think I've given you enough information so you don't get in too much trouble this is how it's, it comes this is how you put it together hi I'm Mark and my name is Alex we are a family owned business for over 25 years we have many products available not just what you see in this video if you would like to learn more you can call the number below at 800 six seven seven six two nine three or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com